students in this video you are going to learn about uh, problems based on symmetrical fault analysis in previous video we have seen symmetrical fault analysis uh, problem based on the thevenin's method so in this problem we are going to do based on kirchhoff loss method so symmetrical fault analysis we can do it in two ways using kirchhoff loss other one is thevenin's method so now we will see the problem so here uh, a synchronous generator and motor rated for 30000 kilo volt ampere 13.2 kilo volt here mva rating and kilo voltage rating is given and both have sub uh, sub transient reactance of 20% so that is 0.2% the line connecting them as a reactance of 10% line reactance is 10% the base of mission ratings so 10% on the base of mission ratings the motor is drawing 20000 kilowatt at 0.8 power factor leading the terminal voltage of the motor is 12.8 kilo volt when the symmetrical three phase fault occurs at motor terminal find the sub transient current in generator motor and at the fault point so here we have a diagram here so in the diagram you can observe generator connection motor connection and uh, line connection and fault point so in this problem especially what we, we can observe is reactance values directly they given reactance values are directly they given in previously what we have done is so reactance values we have calculated then we have draw the reactance or impedance diagram from that we calculated fault current and voltage uh, voltage at 11 kilo volt bus in previous problem we have done so here no need of calculating the reactance values so reactance values no need to calculate but here they given directly so from the diagram you can you can you can use you can calculate the uh, current in generator and uh, motor at fault point so where is the fault point in this figure this is a fault point f shows the fault so here this is a generator so this is one is motor so here we have a transmission lines so here we have a uh transmission lines is uh, um so lines is the line current so what we have to calculate find the sub transient current in generator motor at fault point so current value in generator current value in motor we have to calculate so first uh, solution before that we have to assume uh you have to find out the base values so here the equivalent circuit of the machine in substantial period for the calculation of free fault voltage is free fault voltage is shown in figure so free fault voltages are shown in figure here the valued of the voltage source are substantial internal voltages so let we assume the mva base mva is 30 so base mva is given uh, uh, motor motor and generator rated is 30000 kva so we can convert into mva 30 mva so 30 mva is uh, base mva is 30 and base kv so kv voltage also they given so base voltage 13.2 kw so base kv is 13.2 kw so after assuming all the values so we have to move we have to use kirchhoff loss so kirchhoff voltage law and kirchhoff current law to find the fault methods okay so next one uh, fault point voltage 12.8 kilo volt and uh, this is the uh, value so uh, per unit value is equal to actual value by base value so 12.8 by 13.2 that is equal to 0.97 at angle 0 degrees we got so base current also we can calculate it so base current uh, is equal to 1000 into base power by root 3 into base voltages so 
थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व एम्पियर अंड लाइन करंट लाइन करंट ईएल सो पी बै रोड थ्री वि कास्ट पै पवर डिवेड बै रोड थ्री वि कास्ट पै फि कैलकुलेटेड तौज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट अट नाइन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट नईन आंपियर् सो लोड करंट इन पर् पर् यूनिट पर् यूनिट इज इक्वल ऐक्चुअल वाले बै बेस् वैल्यू सो ऐक्चुअल वैल्यू इज दिस वन बेस् वैल्यू इज दिस वन सो ऐक्चुअल वैल्यू इज लवन हंड्रेड अंड ट्वेंटी एट थर्टीन हंड्रेड अंड ट्वेल्व इज बेस् करंट सो इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव नईन फोर At an angle 36.9 per unit. So these are the uh, values we need to <coughs> use while we are calculating the voltage and current. So now using Kirchhoff laws, so voltage at uh, E G dash and E M dash, voltage uh, substantial voltage at generator and motor we are assuming E G double dash and E M double dash. So we are we are we are using here uh, Kirchhoff voltage law. So KVL we are using. So according to KVL, the algebraic sum of the voltage drops and uh, EMFs in any closed circuit is equal to zero. So according to that one uh, line current we are assuming IL. So J zero point two IL in this step. J zero point one IL plus VPF. So VPF. So finally. substitute the values and il we got it il is uh, 0.8594 at an angle 36.9 so using that value so we finally generated voltage is equal to 0.84 at an angle uh, 14.2 per unit we got it next one em em is uh, a uh, voltage across motor em double dash so vpf minus j 0. il so vpf is uh, 0.97 angle 0 degrees minus uh, j 0.2 into il so il we got it so 1.089 1.0819 angle minus 7.3 per unit so these are the uh, values generator voltage motor voltage we got So next one we need to calculate the current. So substitute the voltage and current in this formula. So motor current I F is equal to I G plus I M. So all the breaks sum of the current at any junction is equal to zero. According to that concept, K V C L concept. So motor current and generator current we can find out. So motor current we are assuming I M double dash. And generator current we are assuming. Uh, I G double dash, so K uh, I M double dash is equal to I G double dash plus I M. Mm. Fault current is equal to I G double dash plus I M double dash. So using the K C L, you can get the relation. So now we will apply the K V L. From that I G double dash is equal to V G double dash by J zero point three. So finally, we got this value I G double dash. And fault and um, and motor current I M double dash is equal to E M double dash by J zero point two. So this is the motor current I M. So finally, fault current I F we have a formula. Fault current is fault current value is I F is equal to I G double dash plus I M double dash. The fault current uh, you need to add these two I M double dash and I G double dash, so zero eight point zero six five eight point zero six five at an angle minus ninety degrees we got. So this is a fault current. So all are the all values we got we calculated. So this is a very simple uh, problem. So since uh, reactances are uh, the given itself in problem itself the given. Generator reactance, motor reactance, transmission line reactance. Then we can the problem will be simple. Suppose if it is not given these reactance values, so these reactance values is not given. So uh, we have to find out using the reactance uh, calculation method. Then we have to apply the KCL and KVL methods. Okay. So this is about one problem. 
and next problem we will see uh, in next video okay thank you everyone